bless you my precious saints i bless each and every one of you i i love you guys and i bless you i thank you for your prayers i thank you for your comments uh, please forgive me if i don't answer uh, your comments at times uh, i don't have much time but uh, i do read them i i so bless you there are so many encouraging words that keep me going that you guys are are so precious to me and so but i want to give you a word of encouragement as i was sitting with the lord it's just something he put in my heart and sometimes we don't realize we're in the battle and we don't realize the power of god the almighty that fights our battles and 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 the old, the holy spirit in us that 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 moves us and the power of god in us and as christians we don't realize at times and we should especially now when it's so de desperately needed for us to to be in prayer and 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 praying and in uh united in the holy spirit and I'm going to read to you from the book of Deuteronomy, just a, a portion, Deuteronomy 33, verse 26. It tells us, there is none like unto the God of Jeshurun. Let me check my, my audio here. None like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rides upon the heaven in thy help. That's the almighty God that we serve. Precious brothers and sisters, be encouraged in these days when all uh, uh, things are coming against us be encouraged for we serve our almighty god we settle it in our hearts to serve the almighty god and choose this day who we will serve and so it says uh, and his and in his excellency on the sky the eternal god is thy refuge the eternal god is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. Underneath are the everlasting gods, the arms of God Almighty that loves us and adores us. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before you. He, the Almighty God, will thrust out the enemy from before you. And he shall say, destroy them. It's Lord God Almighty who fights our battles. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And um, I'm going to read to you from the book of Joshua next. And the point I'm making, this was a, a battle that, that Joshua, a victory that God gave Joshua. But how powerful the Lord is and how he is the one that does the battles to perform it, to perform his word. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. So moving on to Joshua 10, okay, I'm going to read from it. So now it came to pass when Adoni Sedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it, and he had done to Jericho and her king, so that so he had done to Ai and her king, and now the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city and one of royal cities and because it was greater than Ai and all the men thereof were mighty. Whereof Adoni Sedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Ho uh, Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piram, king of Jarmut, and unto Japhia, king of Lachia, and unto Debir, king of Eglon, saying, Come unto me, and help me, that we might smite Gibeon. And for it had made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lashik, or Lachish, and the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up. They and all their hosts and encamped before Gibeon and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp of Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy band uh, from thy servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us. 
For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So they were calling for help. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And all the mighty men of valor. And that's how the Lord sees his people. The mighty men and women of valor. That's how he sees you. We got to get this. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not. And the Lord is telling us today, Fear not the enemy. Fear not man. We are to fear the living God and not man. Matthew 10, 28. We fear the living God. And so the Lord said to Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into your hand. There shall not a man of them stand before you. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited, discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goes up to Beth Horon and smote them to Asakah and unto Mekadah. I'm probably pronouncing those wrong. Bear with me. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, listen to this, listen to this, how mighty a God we have, and, and how He is the one that intercedes and fights our battles, and how the Lord will not forsake His people. He made us a promise that He will never leave us nor forsake us. And, and, and though this nation has turned its back, on the living God and have uh, ripped him out of everything the Lord has lifted his hand and we're under judgment but he will not forsake his people he will not forsake his remnant that is his promise and he won't and so we're we're we have confidence in him our confidence is in the Lord and so listen to this verse uh, uh, Joshua 10 verse 11 and it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horon that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven. So this is hail. He, he cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Asaka and they died. They were more which died with the hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. More died because of the Lord, because the Lord uh, took vengeance. The Lord gave them victory. The Lord moved on their behalf. The Lord was with Joshua as the Lord is with us. And so um, there were more which died with the hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. So the Lord did more than the very children of Israel. Are we getting this? I would let this word encourage you, empower you. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit fill your heart to go forth and move. We, we have but a short time, folks. A short time to spread the gospel every which way we can. To all that will, will listen or won't listen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are His witnesses. And for such a time as this, we are on this earth at this time. And in this precise moment to bring forth the gospel. We cannot forget our great commission. It's, it belongs to all of us. Then spake, listen to this. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel. This is Joshua that said, said this. Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon. And thou moon in the valley of Ahalon. And the sun stood still. And the moon stayed. Until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? That's another book in the Apocrypha that they took away from us. The book of Jasher. It's referenced in the Bible twice. So if you got an Apocrypha, I would suggest you, you look through it and read it. Um, so is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down 
about a whole day. The sun stood still. The power of God's word, the power of the, of the living God that is with us. The kingdom of God is within you. He is with us. And there was not a day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man for the Lord fought for Israel. And he will fight for his people. No matter what we have to go through. We got to remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And where I'm going with all of this is that we're going to go facing persecution, folks. We got to be prepared in martyrdom. It talks about the beheadings in the book of Revelations 20, uh, verse 4. And we got to be prepared and realize who God is and, and, and how mighty He is and how He will, how faithful He is and He will not forsake His people. Through the fire, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Jesus was right there in the fire, in the mist with them. Praise you, Lord. So I just wanted to bring you this, this word uh, forth. I thought it was just so important that we realize many are discouraged. Many uh, want to give up. Many are beat up by the enemy. But God has given us the power. God has given us the tools to fight. It tells us in Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread out on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. If we would realize as, as the body of Christ, the power that God has given us and how powerful the Holy Spirit is in us to pray and stand against all this evil, And the church would have said something and stand against the evil. What does Ephesians uh, 6.12 tells us? Thank you, Heavenly Father. Praise you, Lord. I'm going to start with 16. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Exactly what I'm saying. We're strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We are to stand against it. For that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in the high places. Wherefore, take on to you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. The church has to stand. The body of Christ has to stand in these last days. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, with the word of God, receiving the truth of God. God is sending so many warnings and so many don't want to receive them. So many prefer to be asleep. They want to look through the little rosy colored eyeglasses and not wake up. And many are going to wake up when it's too late. And so stand therefore having your loins girt about with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all, A-L-L, all, the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, with, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We are to be praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching, the Lord told us to watch. With all perseverance, the Lord told us, He who endures till the end shall be saved. Matthew 24. 
perseverance, endurance, and supplication for all saints. We are to be praying for all of us, covering all of us in prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And, and for me, the, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. We are to open our mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. That's how we ought to speak. Praise you, wonderful Jesus. So let this word today encourage you. Let this word fill you with faith. And not because it's me. Let the living God fill you with these things. Only he can do that. And, and seek him. Seek him. But he wanted to, to give us this word. I wanted to share it with you. Because it's so powerful that we understand our precious, precious Jesus. That we understand the, the, the significance of his precious blood. That he bought us with. And the cross. And his sacrifice for us. So in these times. When things are going to get. Uh, uh, when we're going to face persecution. And hatred. And all these difficult. Difficult times ahead. Famine. We put on the whole armor of God. And we get in the word. And we seek the Lord and we rely and trust the living God. We got to trust Him. I bless you, precious brothers and sisters. I love you. And till soon again, Lord willing, be blessed and go forth and preach the gospel. Preach it to your family, your, your friends, on the streets, uh, on the stores, wherever you go, at work wherever you can. Time is so short. I bless you. Go in peace.